Adam Claibon with a look of how things may change. Yeah, sure. You can see right there a beautiful look at some of the mountains in this national parks. It's going to be a, a pretty nice evening if you are up there. Now, of course, it's going to take some time to get up there this evening. If you're going later into the week, Wednesday might be your day, and we're going to take a look at that here shortly. But tomorrow, Definitely not going to be the day. We're already starting to see some of those clouds we referred to earlier beginning to stream on in. Now they're high upper level clouds, so they're pretty thin, so that kind of filters the sunshine, not completely blocking it out here in Wishka, but you can tell that the clouds are now beginning to roll on in, and that's going to help to keep things from dropping as much tonight for some of those overnight lows. As far as the highs today, we bounced back into the mid and upper 50s. Can't say we made it to 60 as of yet. We might get up a degree or two around Olympia, Puyallup, or Chehalis, but I think for the most part, we're going to stay in the 50s here as we head on into the evening. Also looking out as you go farther to the west here at Hurricane Ridge, starting to see some of those clouds roll on in. You can see the snow that's up here across the Olympics. We're going to be putting down quite a bit more as we go over the next 24 hours. Right now in Seattle, we're at 57, a northwest wind coming in at 7 miles per hour. Uh, that will start to shift a little more out of the south for tomorrow. Current temperatures, mid-50s in Bremerton, right now at 57 in Hoquiam, 53 in Forks. So these numbers a lot closer closer to average, which are in more of the upper 50s to lower 60s. Those are where your averages are. So we got closer today, but we are going to take another step back tomorrow once the system arrives. Things quiet across across western Washington. Here's that system that's now beginning to spin on in. That's going to wrap that front around and that's going to come in as we go deeper on into the night. And with that coming in, we'll see the initial rain chances out here along the coast as we get a little after midnight. So this is 10 p.m. You can start to see some of those just beginning to move on in, but I think most of that comes in after midnight. And then for the sound, definitely going to be after midnight and probably more during that morning commute. You can already tell across the Olympics, we're starting to see some of that heavier snow move on in out across the Cascades. Still going to be a while, and I think it's going to be relatively warmer heading on into the day for Monday. So we'll keep those snow levels up around 3,500 to maybe 4,000 feet, meaning Snoqualmie Pass won't get as impacted by some of the snow, and travel should be okay during the daytime hours for Monday and even into the first part of the night. But here we are at 3 o'clock. We're seeing some of that heavier rain move on through parts of Puget Sound. That front will push on by late into Monday evening and more into the first part of Monday night. And behind will be colder air and still more snow that will be continuing to fall as we go on into late Monday night into Tuesday. We'll see more of that as we go on into Tuesday afternoon with our convergence zone setting up for a little while. And then things will start to taper off as we go on into Wednesday for that dryish day, at least for the first part of it. Second part might be a little wet, but rainfall its going to be a decent amount. We'll expect anywhere between a half a foot to maybe or sorry, a half an inch to an inch of rain across parts of Puget Sound and then getting closer out to the coast. One to two inches of rain will be expected there and for the snow, a half a foot to a foot of snow expected up here across Hurricane Ridge, and that will be through tomorrow at noon. And then you can see not a whole lot across the Cascades yet, but once we start to Time it out a little later, heading on into Tuesday and into Wednesday, you'll see that those amounts will be around a half a foot to a foot also across parts of Snoqualmie Pass, White Pass, up around Stevens Pass, Mount Baker, though, getting quite a bit more up around 22 inches. Here's your seven day forecast, rainy and breezy, just about a washout for tomorrow. A few storms possible on Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll see some of those showers late into the day with more rain to come off and on chances as we go on into the latter part of the week.